brought in the CS5, what we call um, code snippers. Um, and that was the ability to say pieces of code that you uh, use over and over again if you're a Flash developer, but also enable you to, um, to if you're a, a new user, uh, come to groups with coding in ActionScript 3. Uh, a very quick example. Uh, Quick example of that is is that I want a um, I want uh, a touch event to happen here. So if I want to insert this pinch to zoom event, I can use the pick whip to point to the object that I want that to apply to in this case. And then when I click the insert button, the code will go into the action script pane and it will show me where that's inserted because we know that even professional Flash developers often lose track of where the code's inserted. So we have this wonderful interface now to, if I repeat that process again, this here, using code snippets, in this again, I want to be a mobile touch event, I want this to be a tap event, I've selected the object, I select the code snippet, because I've got the object selected, it's inserted that in there, I click the, if it hasn't, I would just use the pick whip to drag and drop and insert the instance name, I click insert and it shows me where the code's gone. It's a much easier way for professional Flash developers, because it's just easier, and it's also a much better way to learn ActionScript 3, because we know that ActionScript 3 is where the real power comes in, but it's to help our customers move ahead and really come to grips with ActionScript 3, but not hide that from anybody.